kingdom of God is not about what I can get for myself. But so he grew up in that way, and it was it was a sin. Listen to parents, it's a sin to overindulge your children and never discipline them. Is that okay? If you love them, you will discipline them. I didn't say beat them to death, okay? I said discipline them. Set some boundaries. Begin to put in the choices and the consequences of choices that we make. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm, this is all the men. Men, let me see your hand. Come on, men, 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 men. Where are men? Okay, some here. Somebody, some back there. You don't know if you're a man or a woman. I don't see your hand. All the men, raise your hand. One more time. All the, okay, all that good. Now, this is for men. Because it's also a sin, men. It's a sin to neglect your family. It's a sin to neglect your wife. It's a sin to neglect your children. And so that your wife or your children feel like they are forced to compete with the newspaper. Or compete with the television news. Lord, forgive There should be no competition. A parent and children should feel like they can have your attention. Listen, parents, you're, you are a living example of your children so that they look at you and they will begin to imitate your life. How you live, how you talk, how you respond to crisis, how you deal with trials and sorrows or disappointments. Your children will learn from you how to respond to all of these events that they will encounter during their life. Do you stand strong for God? Do you trust God when you go through different, difficult situations? Or do you blame God for the problem? Hello. Maybe we should close our eyes and all confess. That sometimes we say, you know, God, why me? God, why did you let this happen? God, this is your fault. <laughs> I got it. I got I received a I, I get a lot of text messages, all right? And I and uh, people are sending me text messages and they're complaining about this and complaining about this and complaining about this. Uh, more messages are complaining than anything else. And so this one guy, I mean, I won't, I won't tell you how he had messed up, but he had messed up royally. I mean, big time. Uh, and, uh, and, and, he, and he messed up, and he, he texted me, and he told me what he did, and then he said, why did God let me do that? <laughs> uh, I mean, hello. Why didn't God stop me? Uh, you know, Hello, are you with me? We can't blame God. We make our choices. Will we blame God in front of our children? How will we talk? In Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7, Deuteronomy 6 said, God instructed the people that they should devote themselves to Scripture, to the Word, and that they should instruct their children in the precepts of Jehovah. And this is the way it reads. Impress them. Impress what? Impress the Word of God upon your children. It didn't say, ask them if they would like to. No. Say with me, impress. Impress upon your children. Talk about the Scripture when you are sitting at home. When you are walking on the road. When you are lying down. When you get up. So when are you supposed to impress the Word of God upon your children? Tell your neighbor, all the time. All the time. Because leadership in the whole thing is God's plan. Yes, the church can work together with you as parents, as we have the children here wonderfully singing. We can, we can see the church is working with the children they know. The church works together with you as parents, but the key responsibility is back in the home. The leadership must be in the home because you're going to the church at one time a week. So the church can help reinforce the Word of God, but the impartation of that must come. 
uncomfortable. Now tell your neighbor, take responsibility. Each one of us is a blueprint which our children will use to build their lives. So what kind of an example do we leave for our children? Do you lead them or do you give them orders?
is that you can continue to observe them. Another choice, ignore them. They're there, just ignore them. Third option, change them. Fourth option, start something new. Start something new. Jesus' approach was to start something new. 